Okay, um, so what I want to show you today is a really quick way to do your panels. Um, now, one of the biggest things that we found uh, with some customers were uh, mentioning to us that uh, bringing in these panels have a lot of complex components. So if I bring in this panel that I downloaded, so basically all I, I did is I went to the Retail website, I went to Downloads, I picked up a panel. Here I downloaded uh, the step file and uh, in the step file I've downloaded the uh, version it doesn't really matter which one ePlan can read them both um, I use usually a uh, 214B uh, in a high res so these files can become uh, a little bit more detailed and, and, and maybe a little bit bigger so it's all it, it's a choice that you make now basically here when I do this under layout uh, space import 3D parts basically I grab these are all the panels I'm working on right now so I downloaded a whole bunch of TS8s and uh, what I'm doing is I'm importing this file and inside ePlan it comes in and every single section is separated as being a logical item now technically what you'd have to do is you have to go through every single logical item and then determine what it is um, and this could be long and tedious one trick that I use is I'll inside my macro project I'll create I, I created one here which is an example uh, panel of um, uh, which basically all my items all uh, predetermined, all pre-specified uh, and so on and so forth. Now these are TS8s, North American style, and basically all I did is I downloaded a TS8 similar uh, from the data portal, and in the data portal, since it's all um, uh, IEC style and stuff like that, so you, maybe some of the North American panels uh, for the TS8 models uh, don't come through. So basically I just created this, and all I'm going to do really is here, one of the items that you have to do is just pre-select your, uh, your surface. So basically here, I'm selecting, I'm defining a placement area. So I'm going to select this the bottom of the panel as being my placement area. It's going to come in upside down, basically from the step file and so on and so forth. No problem. I can always turn this around. I'll click on that button. Now it's facing backwards. So I'm going to rotate this 180 degrees. And now I have the panel in its right direction uh, everything's all set but I still have to determine the logical items so now that can be long and tedious but I do have a functionality in ePlan so all I have to do is really just do control all to select the whole thing and I have this button here I created for automatic enclosure interpretation so you can actually go to edit device logic and you have that function assigned right here so when I do this uh, he says basically okay you want to make an example of you want to uh, turn this panel and you want to grab an example of so I'm going to grab an example of this one so this is the one that looks similar to it the dimensions are not the same but it's similar in functionality and I'm going to say from uh, uh, make an, uh, an interpretation from this one here and turn it into this panel right here so basically I'm going to hit OK and now what you'll notice is that everything has been reconfigured so every single component like the frame here if I look at uh, the, 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 the side uh, profiles for the frame you got the door that's that's been uh, uh, already automatically generated with this with the inside and the outside mounting surfaces so basically this cuts down my production time like by a, by a lot some items might still come through because like these lugs that I have here haven't come through because I didn't have him on my example uh, so he wasn't able to determine what it was it's not a problem I can always select all of them right click properties and here basically I'm just gonna make sure that these are gonna be the proper functionality and these are just you know general items that I enclosure general items that I'm gonna specify and I'm gonna make sure that these are fast and unmovably so that they're part of the panel as well and if I want I can turn them into enclosure graphics in my layer settings so they come they become transparent a little bit so it basically fits with everything else in the background then I have here a uh, a, a, a rear plate and this floor sheet that I have hasn't been determined because the example again that I had only had three floor sheets and not four so then technically the system doesn't know what this is again it's not a problem I'm gonna go here to properties and I'm gonna grab here and I'm gonna change its functionality I'm gonna say that this is a housing it's a floor sheet and basically here I'm gonna say it's moving unpassably format I'm also gonna make it enclosure invisible and all I need to do now is there might be some um, uh, uh, mounting surfaces same thing as the bottom ones here the other floor sheets that I have in case I need to mount something on it or maybe I have to drill something and stuff like that so basically here I'm just gonna right click here go to graphic I'm gonna turn that on and I'm gonna assign here some mounting surfaces so I can look at the front side or the top side here and I'm gonna grab mounting surface assign it to the top here you're gonna see that the mounting surface gets brought in here and all I have to do is just reassign with the property settings 
and make sure that I assign the proper mounting surface. So this is going to be a floor uh, floor sheet, and this is going to be inside of the panel because it's top. And I can just grab this guy here, rotate him, and then I'm going to specify that this is going to be the bottom of it. So here the mounting surface again comes in, but I'm going to specify that this is going to be the floor sheet, and it's going to be um, the outside. And I'm going to say move. Uh, item might require some holes, so I might have to drill on it. So I'm going to say OK. And that's pretty much it. So your panel now is all nice and done, and it took less than a few minutes. Um, especially if I, you know, as I'm going quick, um, I can actually turn this into a two-minute process. So download the panel uh, using that functionality here, which is automatic enclosure interpretation. Will assign every single component inside your panel. Assign the mounting surfaces. Basically, all that tedious work you just do it once, and then you just grab your existing panels and then just use this function. And ePlan is going to turn the perfect surfaces and everything. It's going to give you exactly what you need. All right. So thanks for watching.